Sun protection is one of the best ways to protect your skin from aging. Ultraviolet, or UV, rays from the sun initiate complicated molecular pathways in your skin that eventually break down collagen and elastin, the proteins that keep your skin smooth, bouncy, and youthful. What if you could take a supplement that would prevent skin damage from UV rays, kind of like your sunblock does? In this paper, the authors give us two related studies looking at a supplement called astaxanthin to see if it could help prevent wrinkles. Here's what they did. For the lab portion of the study, they basically grew human skin cells in dishes, then added different concentrations of astaxanthin to different dishes. They let the astaxanthin sit for four hours, rinsed it off, then blasted the cells with UVB radiation. They measured levels of inflammatory markers and levels of MMP1, one of the enzymes that breaks down collagen and is thought to contribute to forming wrinkles. For the clinical portion of the study, they randomized 65 people into three groups and gave them either placebo, 6 mg of astaxanthin, or 12 mg of astaxanthin. They took a series of measurements at 0, 8, and 16 weeks and used some standardized guidelines for evaluating anti-wrinkle products. Overall, the methods looked pretty rigorous, and while I would have liked to see a little more detail in a couple areas, it's all pretty well laid out in the paper. A couple methodological weaknesses I should mention. They didn't analyze six subjects' data, and it wasn't clear why. It looks like they also did some stratified analysis after the fact and found some more positive results for astaxanthin in a small subgroup of their subjects. This is generally frowned on when a study isn't originally designed to look at subgroups, especially in a study like this that's already pretty small. Pharmaceutical companies are notorious for torturing data a million different ways to manufacture positive results and push products to market. It's not good science and it's not good for patients. So what were the results? In the lab portion, skin cells treated with UV light had higher levels of inflammatory markers in MMP1, the enzyme that breaks down collagen. The astaxanthin looked like it had a dose-dependent reduction in inflammatory markers in MMP1, which suggests that it might have some mitigating effects on the skin damage from UV light. This is lab data, not really patient-centered data, so take it with a grain of salt. It doesn't mean astaxanthin will prevent UV light from increasing age spots, DNA damage, abnormal cell growth, skin cancer, or all of the other junk UV light can cause. In the clinical portion of the study, they found that skin moisture and wrinkles got worse in the placebo group, but not in either of the astaxanthin groups. In skin samples they took from subjects, the inflammatory marker IL-1-alpha increased in the placebo and low-dose groups, but stayed unchanged in the high-dose astaxanthin group. So is astaxanthin good enough to replace your sunblock? While it seems like it could be useful, this is far from a definitive study, and it definitely does not give us the evidence we need to throw out our normal sun protection. Astaxanthin might reduce skin inflammation from UV light exposure, and it might help prevent wrinkles over time. Other studies support that astaxanthin can prevent and even reduce wrinkles, so this seems to match up with the overall body of literature. Check with your doctor to make sure it's safe for you, but it seems like it could be a decent addition to your beauty supplement stack. As always, link to the studies in the description. Hit the like button if you learned anything today, and subscribe if you like learning about supplements, health, and research.